Bone. But 206. Oh. See, I'm getting quicker catching up on these memes. By the way, you have way more bones than that when you're born because you're a baby. It's a cartilage. It ossifies, turns into bone. They fuse and you get 206. I think from 312. Fact check that. I just realized I do yoga every day. <laughs> 13 is my favorite position. Actually, I'm totally making that up. I have never fallen asleep like 13. The people who fall asleep on their back with their arms by them sides scare me. Because like, who sleeps like this? <sighs> Dr. Mike does an operation. Patient's credit card declines. Dr. Mike be like, so you have chosen to die of chest compression. I only do chest compressions when the heart declines. To beat. Saw that? That was a dad joke. When your boss asks for proof you're in the hospital. <laughs> So this patient is experiencing what's known as apple nose syndrome. On his hand there, that is actually not an IV, that's a, the charging port. This patient is suffering from low battery, and unless you get him to a wall stat, we will not be able to defibrillate him. The head bone's connected to the neck bone. Facts. The neck bone's connected to the neck bone. Facts. The neck bone's connected to the neck bone. Are they gonna just name all the cervical <laughs> structures? There are seven cervical vertebrae. And remember, you should always stop CPR after the second ouch from the patient. You should stop on the first ouch. CPR is meant to be done on patients whose hearts have stopped, patients are no longer breathing, they're pulseless, and they're unconscious. Because conscious patients have a pulse. When you drink all of the milk. <laughs> okay, I don't know what, no, that's cancer. Th this is a can, no, this is cancer. Osteosarcoma. Who decided that skeletons are scary? Because honestly, I'd be more scared if the muscular system suddenly walked into my room. Have you ever been to the bodies exhibit? There's like muscles all over the place. Have you seen the muscles of the face? No, I'll show you. To me, this, is not so scary. Cause I know this guy can't even get around cause he has no muscles. So if he floats, I know I could just push him away, no problem. This Jack dude is scary. Look at this. Regular back will hurt eventually boring stupid bones. Back streets back. All right. He found it funny. A priest, a minister, and a rabbit walk into a blood bank. The rabbit says, I think I might be a type O. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously it's a rabbi and it is a typo, but you need a dash. See the importance of a dash? I can give you so many examples of how important grammar is. Check out this comma. Apple garlic to freshly, wait, what? Apple garlic to a freshly, oh yeah, oh my God. Apply garlic to a freshly open cut or burn to immediately intensify <laughs> the pain. Honestly, some of these life hacks are pretty much this. Remember, taking the vegetables off your double bacon cheeseburger decreases the amount of calories consumed. This is bad health advice. If you saw this on Twitter, run. Doc, how many years old are you on a scale of one to eight? Kid, it stops at eight, it does for you. God, the darkness. And they always combine the dark meme with the cute picture of the family or the nice sweet doctor just like wishing well to the child. Nurses get called out for playing cards. Anesthesiologists, <laughs> crossword puzzles. Anesthesiologists do the weirdest stuff while the patient is under. Well, because sometimes the operations take, you know, eight hours, 10 hours. And sometimes they do switch out, but other times they're doing Sudoku, crossword puzzles. I'm like, I see you. You're smart. Does it look bad, Doc? I don't know, you're probably fine. <laughs> what is he playing? I think it's Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. And the patient is not fully in the machine, so this is kind of fake. This would be more realistic if this radiology technician or radiologist was playing um, solitaire. Because the computers are so old in the hospitals that I don't think they could even handle Lego Star Wars. It would be like solitaire or bust or minesweeper. Who plays Minesweeper? Let me know. Doctor, you can drink one glass of beer per day. <laughs> I've seen this with all different types of beverages. No, you have to be really careful when you're a doctor or a nurse or health professional asking patients questions like this. Cause sometimes you ask like, oh, how much are you drinking? Oh, one glass and their glass is like this. Me brainstorming an amazing build in Sims 4. Me actually starting to build it. Oh my God, in my Sims video. I didn't know you can put like a whole home down. And when Kelsey and Peach K saw this. Okay, like here we go. three small buildings? Why are they this? The room's connected. She could have had an aneurysm. Like it would have ruptured how disappointed she was with me. When the surgeon says, oops. Honestly, the surgeon should say pee whoop because if you're leaving full on scissors in someone's abdomen, like you got yourself a big problem. I mean, look, it's happened. We've left instruments uh, in patients, bowels in patients, chest cavities. But the reality is we've gotten so strict by doing a timeout uh, with our procedures where everyone in the room is identified, the patient's identified, the site of the operations identified. We then do a, a very clear count of all the instruments, of all the sponges even that are out. By the way, if you still see that sponge from the, a Grey's Anatomy episode that Legal and I covered, I'm looking for it. All I'm saying is hashtag missing sponge. Where's the sponge? Take me somewhere expensive. 
<laughs> Most definitely expensive. But honestly, if someone tells you to take them somewhere expensive, that's a red flag. If you ask someone to take you somewhere expensive and they bring you to a hospital, also a red flag. Don't know who's in the wrong. Me has veiny arms. Hospital <laughs> nurses, this is so true. I was just sitting the other day during one of my shifts and my CMA is like, Mike, you have such nice veins. And I was like, is she saying I'm in shape? Is this like a flirty comment? Nope, she just wanted to draw some blood. Me to my gut bacteria while taking antibiotics. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. So true. Look, an antibiotic kills a lot of bacteria and you have bacteria on your skin, inside your gut, inside your eyeball. Maybe not inside your eyeball. I don't know, do you have bacteria inside your eyeball? When you take antibiotics, it doesn't choose to only go in one place. It goes into your bloodstream, which then gets delivered to all different parts of your body, which is good, but at the same time bad because it destroys some of the good bacteria. You actually have good bacteria in your gut called probiotics. So when you destroy them, sometimes bad bacteria flourish and you get really bad diarrhea known as C. difficile. Bacteria, diarrhea. I don't know why that took so long. Just call it C. diff. Natural alternative to bug spray. Find this plant and rub it on entire body. Is that poison ivy? This is th that time where I'm like, don't get your health advice for memes. This, this is the meme I was talking about. Because if you do this, you will end up in my office 48 hours later with a delayed onset autoimmune reaction with the most painful rash. And because the rash is created by the oily substance that the plant releases called urshiol, when you scratch the little rash here and then you scratch your face here, guess what? It's gonna happen here too and it hurts. This is a delayed hypersensitivity reaction that nobody wants. Trust me, ouch. Doctor, your body has ran out of magnesium. Me, OMG. <laughs> These are good, people are getting witty, okay. I'm gonna use this joke somewhere. Okay, now just sleep normally. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, when you go for a sleep study, I've never personally had one. I've seen pictures, I've seen what my patients tell me. It's not very comfortable. Like, I don't think I can fall asleep comfortably with electrodes on my head and maybe even like the CPAP if I need it. Time to test your reflexes. Dodges the little knee hammer. Finally, someone got it. Honestly, the only thing I need to dodge when I do my reflex testing on my patients are their feet, because sometimes they try and kick me. Eating probiotic yogurt while on antibiotics? <laughs> okay, now battle. Honestly, I tell my patients, either take probiotics, eat yogurt, kefir, sour Kraut, something with probiotics naturally in it, it's a smart move. And it's not now battle, it's now replenish. When you have a pain in your leg, so you hit it and it goes away, <laughs> doctor, that shouldn't happen. Like, I don't know what pain, maybe like if you were sitting and you were cutting off circulation, then like you moved because you hit your leg and then the circulation happens. Otherwise, that shouldn't be happening. Doctor, which knee hurts? Me. This knee, <laughs> I remember with the Dasani. I don't get it. Dasani? That's a knee. Oh, that's a knee! I hope no one got a tattoo of this knee on it. It looks real. It looks inflamed. A surgeon. A <laughs> plastic surgeon. Ready? Oh, custom Lego. Sleeping next to someone you love makes you fall asleep faster, reduces depression, helps you live longer. <laughs> someone, one person, not pizza. Although it is warm. What kind of prize do you give someone who hasn't moved a muscle in over a year? A trophy. <laughs> I get it, it's so good. For those of you who don't know, atrophy is what happens to your muscles when you don't use them. Because when you don't use them, you lose them. Whoever came up with that, genius. Whoever came up with this meme, bigger genius. Me finally gets eight hours of sleep, my neck. Yeah, but you did it wrong. <laughs> Honestly, this is me all the time. Maybe I've always had an unknown childhood dream of mine to become a gymnast. Because when I am in my bed, I wake up in such positions that I can't imagine how I got into them. And my neck thanks me the next morning by reminding me that I'm not a gymnast and I'm getting older and I'm inflexible and I probably have spondyloliosis. Couldn't even say that because my neck hurts so much. Still single? Always. Aww. I wish DNA and RNA can get together, but then it'll be like a polyamorous relationship and there'd probably be some cancerous mutation thing going on, so. Doc, it hurts when I do this. Darthritis, aw, that's cute. These are the kind of feel-good memes I like. Is it osteodarthritis? Is it rheumatoid darthritis? Is it psoriatic arthritis? I get too excited about these things. In Greek mythology, Chiron was not only half man and half horse, he was also a doctor of medicine, much like myself. That made him the centaur for <laughs> disease control. Golf clap for that one. How doctors text each other. Honestly, when we had palm trios back in the day, yeah, I just threw that out there. That is how we texted each other. Cause you could handwrite on those with the little stylus. My dad recently got a 3D printer and made a stool sample for his doctor. New dad joke level <laughs> unlocked. Genuine question here. Who named it a stool sample? The toilet bowl doesn't look like a stool. Where is the stool coming from? 
Family Guy or Nickelodeon? Which medical scene reactions are you watching? As always, stay happy and healthy. Click on him. Click, 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 click.